Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chan. Let's get into a minute. Let's go. So tonight is the fourth episode of I Love Money season 13. I am the captain of my team. I hope we win because I don't want to be on the bottom. I'm a little nervous, but I think we're good. But I will put a link to the network in my story so you can join. Yeah, I'm so excited, but a little nervous at the same time. Let me tell you something. These two, Ashanti and Nelly, are having the time of their life. She has bought him a car for his birthday, which made him shed a tear. And they are still celebrating. I absolutely love to see it. She's happy. He's happy. And whatever he working with, he is working it, baby, because they are all smiles. So congratulations to both of you. Let's keep going. I thought this was so stupid. Man says that fathers who pay child support do not have to do anything extra for Christmas because it's included in their payments. And if the mom can't get things done with that, she is mismanaging the funds. Where do these dudes come from? If y'all would stop messing up people's lives and having relations with women that you don't intend to just fall in love with and make your wife, leave the women alone. Just leave them alone. Child, this baby right here, True is just truly a sweetheart. I'm so happy for Brad and Judy. Like, we haven't seen or heard from them in a minute. They just being mommies and raising this sweet baby. But he is so cute and he is so fat. He is perfect. Let's keep going. Y'all let me know where y'all stand with this. This one right here says, um, she's not going to turn down a date because it's a friend's ex because the dating pool is so small especially because there are not many decent men out here to choose from today what are your thoughts so she's like breaking girl code she was like if it was my friend and they broke up and it's been a minute like i'm not gonna not talk to him where are y'all with that because i'm not with that i'm so glad to see it so savannah chrisley is in a new relationship she looks like she's truly happy she's found someone who understands what she's going through and she is beaming with the kisses and all. I'm really happy for her because Savannah has a very big responsibility that her parents have put on her. So I'm just happy to see it, right? Just a little Chrisley update. Congratulations to John Legend. He is now a EGOT winner. He has an Emmy, a Grammy, an Oscar, and a Tony. Now, I don't know what he got a Tony for or an Emmy, but congratulations, sir. Congratulations. Now, with um, Lori and Damson, I thought we already knew this. Is this a spin the block? Like, did they break up, get back together, and now they're broken up? Because I really thought we already heard this. Where, what is really going on with her? Let's keep, let's keep going. So, y'all, Drew Dora did not go to BravoCon this year in the amid divorce and ongoing rumors of possible uh, series reboot. Like, I understand why she didn't go, but maybe she would have felt a little bit better, a little bit in her element if she had gotten away from Atlanta and gotten with her friends and, you know. But then again, people are going to be asking her all those questions because those panels, they're going to ask the questions in the panel. But I really hate she didn't attend. I feel bad for Drew. I hope she's doing okay. In other housewife news, other than Kenya over here clapping her hands like she's in the church choir, she went to the Usher concert while she's in Las Vegas. And baby, it was some dancing, romancing, caressing, and look at her dress. Kenya looked beautiful, and she looked like she had a good time. And real talk, she needs it. So I'm glad she's having fun. Let's keep going. In more housewife news, this is Carolyn Manzo, right? And this is Brandy Glanville over here. And they were supposed to do the Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip together. But Brandy did something to Caroline, and Caroline quit the show. And it has something to do with this headline up here. So they may not even air it. Hold on. These are the women who were going to be in attendance. Like Phaedra was back. They had Kelsey Grammer's ex-wife here. I forgot this girl's name in the purple next to her. She was on The Real Housewives of Orange County. Vicki Gunderson is back. They had Carolyn. And they had Eva on here. And then the girl on the end, she's from New York. But this one right here, she messed it all up. She is out of control. I hope they show it, but Carolyn left because she was very uncomfortable. This is Erica Jane. Stay off of the Ozempic, ma'am. Just stay off of the Ozempic. 
lastly, just a little something about me. So, <laughs> I don't have a problem with a bedtime story. And I listen to this at night because I love Twilight. And I listened to it last night and it took me to sleep. <laughs> it's your girl, Millie Chud. I love y'all. Talk to y'all later. Bye. <laughs>